Sometimes I go back and forth wondering if I should have kept these bags in my collection because at today's prices, there is no way I want to buy them again. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't have sold them. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today we are going to talk about some luxury regrets and I named this video my sometimes luxury regrets because I sometimes regret it, but sometimes or most times I don't. So when those sometimes happen, does it really justify me keeping those bags? So I'm going to talk about it. If you have any of these sometimes regrets, put them in the comment section down below because you know there are occasions that we have but not often say like a wedding or some fun day out that these bags would have been perfect but in most days in our lives maybe I don't just use them I'm kind of fulfill the full like oh my god I totally regret selling this not really so let's start off with number one and that is my LV multicolor so this one was a difficult sale because I was in a phase where I just absolutely love collecting. I had this collector mentality where I wanted to keep things because they're special, they're limited edition, they sat pretty in my cupboard. And I had that mindset that time, that was a few years ago, was it pre-pandemic? Yeah, it was around pandemic time where I was absolutely fine with never even using it. I probably used that bag a couple of times and when I opened my cupboard, I just loved that feeling of having that beautiful bag in my collection. Iconic, special, it was limited edition, they stopped producing it. So it was just a art piece with me. Then I decided to sell it. <laughs> Obviously, it came with a lot of ups and downs because you know, it's not easy to let go of things that you used to love and you kind of think you still love. I do miss it. I do miss having it in my collection. Would I use it? That's the thing. Maybe I would, but not often enough to justify me having it in my collection. But yes, I do. I do miss it. I sometimes regret it. I sometimes regret letting go of that iconic, piece of art, piece of LV history. The multicolor line is such an iconic line that LV has. They come up with more of these colorful lines and everybody will reflect back and compare it to the multicolor. It's never been as beautiful. And my LV multicolor speedy was perfect. Okay, it was a it was practically a new piece and it was oh so which is why it is in my sometimes regret pile. You know, if I still had that bag today, it would probably still be sitting in my cabinet as a, on its pedestal for me to enjoy. But I guess I'm not that kind of person. I thought I was, but then, you know, I grew up and I changed my taste and my preferences. So I'm glad I let it go, but I, I do miss having it. The second handbag that I sometimes regret out of nostalgia and also out of the fact that it's so expensive now makes me kind of wonder if I should have just kept it. And that is the Chanel Jumbo. It was when small bags were in, I was going for micro bags. And honestly, even before that trend, I wasn't reaching my Chanel Jumbo very much. I had a good four year, maybe almost five years with it of often using it and it held a lot of sentimental value to me because it was the first handbag from Chanel that I purchased and it it was a lot of money so I remember going into the store I remember picking it up and it was just oh my gosh it was just a treasure I that that feeling of buying it even now when I'm talking about it I've got goosebumps you know fast forward to using it and enjoying it I started to not use it anymore Firstly, it is a big bag and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't using bigger bags. Plus, I, it was kind of heavy. I'm a strong girl, but I've got a lot of things that I carry when I go to work. So it was big and kind of flashy. Finally made the call to let it go. Very difficult decision. But after a while, I managed to sell it and sold it to my favorite YouTuber, which is Michelle Wong. And I'm absolutely, like, mind blown that my favorite youtuber has my handbag it's just like oh my god <laughs> girl fanning over here prices right now are just 
insane. Okay, who would ever imagine that the Chanel Jumbo today will be nearly 17,000 Singapore dollars? I would never be able to buy that bag back. And I think a lot of you were telling me the same thing when I was selling it. And if I ever wanted to buy it back, I could never because it's just so crazy expensive. Retail is crazy, but if I really, really, really wanted it, I could probably get it in the resale market. But anyway, that aside, I sometimes regret it because I have that nostalgia to it. And you know, big bags are kind of in right now. And of course, the crazy price right now makes me wonder if I should have kept it and just hung on to that bag. This third handbag, I'd say is a bigger regret compared to the first two because it's special and I like a little bit of something different in my collection and I really, really enjoyed it but because of the Hermes journey and all that so I made the decision to sell it and it is the Prada Crystal handbag. It is at the borderline of I really regret it. It's kind of, you know, I more than sometimes regret it. It's still in the sometimes because I don't have a lifestyle that requires me to use such a bag. I don't go out very often. I just love to hang out with my doggy. So I don't really need such a fun bag. But then there are days that I just, I just want to have a fun bag. So I... Yeah, unfortunately, I do more than sometimes regret selling this bag. Now, compared to the LV, I mean, sorry, co compared to the L, actually the LV one's pretty expensive right now, and also the Chanel Jumbo. This Prada Crystal bag, the price has gone up. I paid like 2000 something for it, so it's gone up significant. And maybe the craze of crystals have gone, so maybe also if I wanted to get it in the resale market, I could, but... I'm not going to. So I'm going to show you also as part of this like a little surprise sneak into this uh, video is a new handbag that I got. So I will talk about that at the end because it kind of, I think, okay, I haven't opened it. It's so a little unboxing here. It's kind, it kind of, all right, looks like the Prada Crystal Bag. So I feel like I am fulfilling a, a loss, <laughs> but we will do that at the end of this video. The next two handbags are from Hermes. And this is kind of difficult because I know myself I would not use them. But at the same time, because things are so expensive right now, when I look at people holding it, I do sometimes wonder if I should not have sold it. So the first handbag is my Hermes Lindy 26. I always talk about the Lindy 26 as one of my favorite favorite handbag styles from Hermes. I just love the practicality of it. It has top handles, it has a shoulder bag. The main reason that I sold it is the color. It was, it's beautiful. Let me, don't get me wrong. I think it's a beautiful color. Otherwise, I would not have purchased it. Rouge toma Tomato, Tomate, and oh, so gorgeous. I, when I think back about it, I loved it. However, my personality, I'm not a red bag kind of girl. I Every time I carry it out, I felt like there was a spotlight on me. I felt like, whoa, girl with red bag. I felt very, very self-conscious using that bag, which is why I ended up selling it. But I told myself one day I would buy it back to my collection. However, one day hasn't come because, geez, it's so expensive. It is, it's insane, the prices right now. It's, I think it's like $13,000. I, I mean, ah, for a Lindy, and Lindy's don't resale very well in the resale market. So, you know, if I really wanted it, I could get it in the resale market. But yeah, I kind of sometimes regret it. And I wonder maybe as I grew older and as I get older, Will I be okay with the red bag? It's been a few years since I sold it and I'm, I'm still not into red bags. But you'll never know the future, right? Who knows in five years from now? And, you know, bags are supposed to be for life. But who knows five years from now, I could be a red bag kind of girl. But that could not justify me keeping it in my collection. So yeah, I sometimes think about it. Not often, but I sometimes do. The final handbag for this discussion is my Birkin 30 with gold and palladium hardware. 
I do sometimes wonder if I should have kept that bag in my collection. Oh, I got it at a really good price compared to what prices are right now. I'm sure I can get it back around that same price, but I just wondered if I should have just kept it because I actually got a really good handbag. I got, um, it was a perfect togo, very well kept. I know kind of like in the core, in my gut, that it was a bag that I didn't really use. And even my Birkin 25, it's not a bag that I use all the time. So would it justify just because it was nice that it should have been in my collection. So I sometimes miss it because, you know, I love my Hermes bags and it would have been nice to have a variety right now. Because if I really kept it, I would have a Birkin 30, Birkin 25, Lindy 26. I would have quite a few Hermes bags, which, you know, it's it's nice. I do miss how beautiful it was. It was, it was a achievement handbag that I got and it's a beautiful color. So I do sometimes regret it and yeah, if only I kept it. Oh well. I am looking forward to reading your comments about your sometimes regrets. It could be shoes, it could be bags obviously, or it could be jewelry, watches, any kind of luxury items or even non-luxury items that you do sometimes regret selling it, but they don't fall into the whole oh, seller's regret, like you feel so remorseful. They kind of like sometimes they pop up and like, oh, I should have kept it, <laughs> that kind of feeling. So anyway, while you do that, let's do a little unboxing because this was, this was interesting. I did a video with Open a few, well, a few weeks ago where I shared the Nirvana handbag and I actually really love it. It's actually at the back. Oh, it was just, let me just go and take it. Like I'm into this right now. It's understated. Nobody knows. And I don't know, I just kind of am into less, less known brands right now. So when Open um, contacted me again and said that, you know, they would love, they watched my video and it was, it was kind of nice that they watched my video and they said that, you know, since I talked about another handbag, which I think Selena, Selena Gomez uh, wore, which is beautiful bag. I can't recall the name right now. I'll, I'll put it here. They said they'll send it to me and I was like, oh my gosh, really? But I told them that I don't think I have the lifestyle to justify me using it and sharing it on my uh, channel as well as on my socials. However, there was one bag that I thought, oh my gosh, this could fulfill my sometimes regret. And let me open it right now. I have not opened it. I was keeping it for this video. So, oh, oh my gosh. So let's open it together. And it's kind of like a chit chat plus an unboxing. So it is really similar, not exactly the same, but really similar to the Prada crystal bag. Look at that! I feel if you are also into the Prada crystal bag or you're looking for something super special, oh my goodness. Oh my god! Stop! What? Oh. Oh my, I mean, who needs Prada right now, man? <laughs> Let me take this out. Wow. People. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow, open. You outdid yourself. Let me just take off this wrapping. Okay, uh, you know, I, I sometimes miss my Prada bag, but yeah, no, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. We got something even better and more affordable and and it's... Gosh, it's beautiful. Wow. Take a moment to look at that. Firstly, because I have the Prada crystal bag and I can tell you this one is obviously more um, in shape. Love the fact they have different size crystals. 
see some big, some small. This bag is called the Miracle Ice Crystal. Obviously inspired by all the crystal trend that's going on right now. But don't you think it's so gorgeous? As I was saying, sometimes I do need a party bag. But now, am I going to pay $4,000? The answer is no, I will not do it anymore. I... Stop. Okay. Oh, hello, 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 oh, no, seriously, oh my goodness, thank you so much Open, and this is like the perfect bag for this video, while I talk about the product crystal I can be like, oh my gosh, now I got to add on a little unboxing, and what, this is, jaw-dropping okay so anyway coming back to the bag so it's made like it has that satin material nice silver zip and then you've got another interior zip oh not interior zip like a little uh, slip pocket here just let me put my phone inside I've got an iPhone 13 yeah obviously you could put it in and you know this is a party bag you would not be putting a lot of things inside but I am really excited to use this and just play around with it Go! okay so wow thank you so much open so i am going to do a video of this so i will obviously do a more in-depth video because i wanted to show this when i spoke to open and i said um well the other bag is beautiful but i would not do it justice however there is this one bag that I saw and I was actually ready to purchase it because of the Prada Crystal bag. And I said, I think this bag would be more for me if you don't mind sending it. I would love to have it because it is like my Prada Crystal bag. And I've been, I've been like going crazy sometimes, 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 sometimes regret going on my Prada Crystal bag. So when they say yes, they'll send it to me. I am not disappointed. If you decide to get the this bag I will link it down below I do have a discount code not affiliated it just gave me a discount code I'll put it down there as well go and check this out before it goes viral so apparently this open Nirvana bag because a lot of celebrities are using it a lot of the colors have sold out already so I do have one more which is for a giveaway so we'll do I know I'll do that when I do the review of this bag and they also sent me some earrings which i will do in my review video so i'm going to keep this for another unboxing but yes thank you so much to open but yeah wow i am very impressed so anyway i hope you enjoyed this extra part to the video on top of my sometimes regret if you enjoyed this video i do hope you will give it a thumbs up i hope you're subscribed as well make sure the notifications are turned on so that you can Join me on my other videos, watch the other unboxings of the open items, as well as yeah, hear the review of this amazing new handbag. Otherwise, everyone, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!